The NeurAM chip is the first compute-in-memory chip to demonstrate a wide range of AI applications while using just a small percentage of the energy consumed by other platforms while maintaining equivalent accuracy. NeurAM a new chip that runs on computations directly in memory and can run a wide variety of AI applications has been designed and built by an international team of researchers. What sets it apart is that it does this all at a fraction of the energy consumed by computing platforms for general purpose AI computing. The NeurAM neuromorphic chip brings AI a step closer to running on a broad range of edge devices disconnected from the cloud. This means they can perform sophisticated cognitive tasks anywhere and anytime without relying on a network connection to a centralized server. Applications for this device abound in every corner of the globe and every facet of our lives. They range from smart watches to VR headsets, smart earbuds, smart sensors in factories, and rovers for space exploration. Not only is the NeurAM chip twice as energy efficient as the state-of-the-art compute in memory chips, an innovative class of hybrid chips that runs computations in memory, it also delivers results that are just as accurate as conventional digital chips. Conventional AI platforms are much bulkier and typically are constrained to using large data servers operating in the cloud. Additionally, the NeurAM chip is highly versatile and supports many different neural network models and architectures. As a result, the chip can be used for many different applications, including image recognition and reconstruction, as well as voice recognition. The conventional wisdom is that the higher efficiency of compute in memory is at the cost of versatility, but our NeurAM chip obtains efficiency while not sacrificing versatility, said Wire Wan, the paper's first corresponding author and a recent PhD graduate of Stanford University, who worked on the chip while at UC San Diego, where he was co-advised by Gert Cohenbergs in the Department of Bioengineering. The research team co-led by bioengineers at the University of California, San Diego, presented the results in the August 17 issue of Nature. Currently, AI computing is both power-hungry and computationally expensive. Most AI applications on edge devices involve moving data from the devices to the cloud, where the AI processes and analyzes it. Then the results are transferred back to the device. This is necessary because most edge devices are battery powered, and as a result, only have a limited amount of power that can be dedicated to computing. By reducing the power consumption needed for AI inference at the edge, this NeurAM chip could lead to more robust, smarter, and accessible edge devices and smarter manufacturing. It could also lead to better data privacy because the transfer of data from devices to the cloud comes with increased security risks. On AI chips, moving data from memory to computing units is one major bottleneck. It's the equivalent of doing an eight-hour commute for a two-hour workday, Juan said. To solve this data transfer issue, researchers use what is known as resistive random access memory. This type of non-volatile memory allows for computation directly within memory rather than in separate computing units. RAM and other emerging memory technologies used as synapse arrays for neuromorphic computing were pioneered in the lab of Philip Wong, Wan's advisor at Stanford and one of the main contributors to his work. Although computation with RAM chips is not necessarily new, generally it leads to a decrease in the accuracy of the computations performed on the chip and a lack of flexibility in the chip's architecture. Compute in memory has been common practice in neuromorphic engineering since it was introduced more than 30 years ago. What is new with NeurAM is that the extreme efficiency now goes together with great flexibility for diverse AI applications with almost no loss in accuracy over standard digital general purpose computers compute platforms. A carefully crafted methodology was key to the work with multiple levels of co-optimization across the abstraction layers of hardware and software, from the design of the chip to its configuration to run at various AI tasks. The chip now provides us with a platform to address these problems across the stack from devices and circuits to algorithms. Chip Performance Researchers measured the chip's energy efficiency by a measure known as Energy Delay Product, or EDP. EDP combines both the amount of energy consumed for every operation and the amount of time it takes to complete the operation. 
by this measure, the new RAM chip achieves 1.6 to 2.3 times lower EDP and 7 to 13 times higher computational density than state-of-the-art chips. Engineers ran various AI tasks on the chip. It achieved 99% accuracy on a handwritten digit recognition task, 85.7% on an image classification task, and 84.7% on a Google speech command recognition task. In addition, the chip also achieved a 70% reduction in image reconstruction error on an image recovery task. These results are comparable to existing digital chips that perform computation under the same bit precision but with drastic savings in energy. One key contribution of the paper, the researchers point out, is that all the results featured are obtained directly on the hardware. In many previous works of compute in memory chips, AI benchmark results were often obtained partially by software simulation. Next steps include improving architectures and circuits and scaling the design to more advanced technology nodes. Engineers also plan to tackle other applications such as spiking neural networks. New Architecture The key to NeurAM's energy efficiency is an innovative method to sense output in memory. Conventional approaches use voltage as input and measure current as the result, but this leads to the need for more complex and more power-hungry circuits. In NeurAM, the team engineered a neuron circuit that senses voltage and performs analog-to-digital conversion in an energy-efficient manner. This voltage mode sensing can activate all the rows and all the columns of an RAM array in a single computing cycle, allowing higher parallelism. In the NeurAM architecture, CMOS neuron circuits are physically interleaved with RAM weights. It differs from conventional designs where CMOS circuits are typically on the peripheral of RAM weights. The neuron's connections with the RAM array can be configured to serve as either input or output of the neuron. This allows neural network inference in various data flow directions without incurring overheads in area or power consumption. This, in turn, makes the architecture easier to reconfigure. To make sure that the accuracy of the AI computations can be preserved across various neural network architectures, engineers developed a set of hardware algorithm and co-optimization techniques. The techniques were verified on various neural networks, including convolutional neural networks, long short-term memory, and restricted Boltzmann machines. As a neuromorphic AI chip, NeurAM performs parallel distributed processing across 48 neurosynaptic cores. To simultaneously achieve high versatility and high efficiency, NeurAM supports data parallelism by mapping a layer in the neural network model onto multiple cores for parallel inference on multiple data. Also, NeurAM offers model parallelism by mapping different layers of a model onto different cores and performing inference in a pipeline fashion.